Hi, I'm Mike and I've got a short video for you today. I'm going to talk about loose electrical connections. I'm going to use my test board and I'm going to set up some loose connections and we're going to use my thermal camera and we're going to see just how hot these connections can get. Loose electrical connections are dangerous because they do get hot and that's because of resistive losses because loose connections have higher resistance than good connections. So we're going to set up these connections, we're going to run some current and we're going to see just how hot they get. Let's get started. Okay, so here's my setup. Here's my test board. This is a receptacle I'm going to put a loose connection on, and I'm going to put a loose connection on this wire nut. And over on this end, I've got two hair dryers plugged in to pull some current. And as you can see here, I'm pulling about 17.7 .7 amps. All right, so right now we've got a tight connection, and it's this screw right here. And what I want to do is check with the thermal camera and see what kind of temperature we've got. You can see it's around 67, 68 degrees. That's about the temperature it is outside of where I am. So there's basically no temperature rise when you've got a tight connection. Okay, so I've turned the power off. Let's loosen this screw. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that looks good and loose, and it's probably looser than you would normally have on any loose connection. Now I want to measure the resistance at this loose connection. So I'm going to check the resistance from the plug to the other screw on this receptacle, and that should give us an idea of what the resistance is at the loose connection. And it's looking like it's bouncing around a little bit. We'll call it 0.2 ohms. Now using the power equation, power is equal to I squared R, that's going to give us a power loss due to resistance of 62 watts. That's obviously as much power as it takes to run a 60 watt light bulb. That's a lot of power being lost and converted to heat. And it's all isolated in this very small area. And you can see here as I wiggle this receptacle around, definitely get some sparking. Okay, so with the thermal camera, look what we're getting. 168, 169 degrees up to 170 degrees. So this loose connection is raising the temperature a full 100 degrees. That may not seem like a lot, but let's say you've got a loose connection somewhere up in the attic on a hot summer day where the attic's already at 150 degrees or so. You add another 100 degrees to that, then you're looking at about 250 degrees, and at what point does the insulation start breaking down? So these loose connections can definitely be dangerous. Okay, so now let's look at this wire nut here. Right now the connection is tight. And we're gonna check it with the thermal camera. Again, 68, 69, 70 degrees, same as the outside temperature. So essentially no temperature rise at all. Okay, let's shut the power off. And Let's loosen this wire nut. I'm just going to stick it on there and give it a small twist. All right, well, that looks good. All right, let's turn the power back on. And let's see what it looks like with the thermal camera. Okay. 104, 105, 106, up to 110 degrees. So it's not as dramatic as the loose connection on the receptacle, but we're still getting about a 40 degree temperature rise. But as I've already mentioned, most of the wiring in our homes is in walls or it's up in the attic and it can get really hot up in the attic as we've already talked about. So if you're already starting at 150, 160 degrees, that extra 100 degrees is going to put it around 250, 260 degrees. Most household wiring is rated to be subjected to temperatures up to 194 degrees Fahrenheit continuously. So if instead that wire is subjected to 250, 260 degrees continuously, that insulation is going to break down. It's eventually going to melt and it very possibly could cause a fire. That's why it's so critical to have tight, good electrical connections. This demonstration using my thermal camera showed you just how hot these connections can get and how critical it is to have 
good tight electrical connections. I really appreciate you watching. Have a wonderful day.